Hello everyone, welcome to your own channel Food Tech Network. I am very happy to inform you that we are going to begin with a very new series and yet another new series that is solely based on test of food products. हम सभी जानते हैं that whether you are working in a government organization or in a private firm, the upkeeping of standards and quality is very important. We all know that the quality rich products are highly acceptable and are in demand, not only in our country but in the world wide. So for this reason only, we need to do various kinds of test of food products to know what kind of grade they belong to or what kind of standard they have. So in test also they are divided into various categories. जो हम test चाहे food का करें, चाहे किसी भी और चीज का करें, वो different categories में divided हैं. जैसे composition test, nutritional profile test, adulteration test. Adulteration test सबसे ज़्यादा important होता है क्योंकि ये हमें बताता है कि हमारा food product pure है या नहीं. So for this reason only we will begin our series with adulteration test and the product we will begin with is none other than milk. हम जानते हैं कि milk based product food industry का India में बहुत बड़ा composition acquire करके रखे हैं इसलिए हम मिल्क से शुरू करेंगे and the very first test we will talk about is the detection of cane sugar in milk उससे पहले हम test शुरू करें I would like to give a background of milk what milk scientifically is we all know that milk is a complex homogeneous fluid containing various components in several state of dispersion मैंने आपको अपनी water वाले video में बताया था कि milk एक dispersion है it is not a solution right and it is a unique product जो मेमोरी ग्लैंड्स ऑफ मैमल्स के द्वारा सेक्रीट किया जाता है हार्मोन्स के कंट्रोल के अंदर मिल्क अपने आप में ही एक कंप्लीट फूड है क्योंकि इसके अंदर प्रोटीन भी है जो कि केजिन प्रोटीन है वे प्रोटीन में लेक्टल ग्लोब्यूलिन या लेक्टल ब्यूमिन जैसे प्रोटीन्स प्रेजेंट है इसके अंदर कार्बोहाइड्रेट भी है जैसे लेक्टोस इसके अंदर फैट भी है इसके अंदर विटामिन भी है मिनरल्स भी है एंड वाटर तो है ही तो मिल्क में जो सॉलिड्स होते हैं जनरली वो थर्टीन की रेंज में होते हैं अब ये जो वैल्यू है ये अजद कम या ज्यादा ब्रीड पर डिपेंड करके या फिर कंट्री पर डिपेंड करके या बाकी फैक्टर्स पर डिपेंड करके चेंज हो सकती है तो क्योंकि मिल्क अपने आप में ही कंप्लीट फूड है इसके अलावा मिल्क इन्फेंट्स के साथ साथ एडल्ट्स की न्यूट्रिशनल रिक्वायरमेंट को पूरा करने के लिए बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है और हमारी कंट्री में मिल्क का उत्पाद यानी मिल्क की प्रोडक्शन इज अल abundant and even the uh, food which is made out of milk may it be curd paneer cheese chena khoya etc all these things are very important and we are very fortunate to have a huge variety of sweets made entirely out of milk so for this reason we will begin with milk and this is what actually milk is as per scientific definition so bina kisi deri ke let us talk about the test we are going to do we are going to check the adulteration of cane sugar in our milk sample and for this we will do the selivanoff's test which we will do by using selivanoff's reagent so what all we require for selivanoff's test we require selivanoff's reagent that is very common answer but selivanoff's reagent mein hota kya hai iske do main component hote hain ek hota hai resorcinol jaisa ki aap apni screens par dekh rahe hain aur dusra hota hai concentrated hydrochloric acid ab resorcinol ek alcohol hai and concentrated hydrochloric acid ya hcl for that matter of fact ek mineral acid hai jo ki hamare industry liye ek bahut important chemical hai is test ko karne ke liye dosto sabse pehle hame ek resorcinol ka solution banana padta hai jiski standard value point 5% है तो एक 0.5% रिसोर्सिनॉल सॉल्यूशन बनाने के लिए सबसे पहले यू नीड टू डिसॉल्व 0.5 ग्राम ऑफ रिसोर्सिनॉल इन 40 एमएल ऑफ डिस्टिल्ड वाटर आप सभी को पता होना चाहिए कि कोई भी सॉल्यूशन बनाते समय सबसे पहले उसे एक लिमिटेड क्वांटिटी ऑफ वाटर में डिस्टिल्ड वाटर में डिसॉल्व करना पड़ता है ताकि एक सैचुरेटेड सॉल्यूशन बने एंड फिर हम उसको अपने डिजायर्ड वॉल्यूम के माप तक ले जाते हैं तो उसी के लिए सबसे पहले 0.5 ग्राम रिसोर्सिनॉल को वी विल नीड टू डिसॉल्व इन 40 एमएल ऑफ डिस्टिल्ड वाटर आफ्टर दैट वी विल ऐड 35 of concentrated hydrochloric acid whose concentration should not be less than 12 normal and after this for example if you calculate it you have got 40 plus 25 that is 65 and uh, plus 10 ml of more uh, acid would make it up to 70 5 ml. So you have already made 75 ml of solution. Now to complete the 100 ml value, you will need to add 25 ml. So uh, to sum up my process, I would add 40 ml of distilled water and add 0.5 gram of resorcinol in until it's completely dissolved. Then I would add 35 ml of concentrated HCl, making the volume up to 75 ml. At the last, 25 ml of water will be added to complete 100 ml solution. Now, we have the resorcinol 0.5% solution. Now, what do we need to do? We will need to take a test tube. 
test tube it should be sterile it should be clean we need to take clean and neat test tube in which we will add a specific amount of milk for reference you can take about 1 ml of milk in this test tube and the milk temperature should not be less than 37 degrees celsius ji ha aapko isko incubate karke up to room temperature yani 37 degrees celsius tak lana hoga after that you will need to add 1 ml of this resorcinol solution jo ki hamara detecting reagent hai isko mix karke sirf 5 minute ke liye aapko water bath pe rakhna hoga ab pata kaise chalega ki hamare जो मिल्क है वो डिल्टरेटेड है किन शुगर से या नहीं तो पता करने के लिए ये इंटरप्रिटेशन का पॉइंट है कि इफ योर मिल्क विल बी अडल्टरेटेड विद किन शुगर देन यू विट सी अ ब्रिक रेड कलर अपीयरेंस इन द मिल्क एंड यू आर गोइंग टू सी इन आवर वीडियो वी हैव लाइव डेमोंस्ट्रेटेड दिस टेस्ट सो दैट इट बिकम्स क्रिस्टल क्लियर इन योर माइंड सो यू विल सी दैट अ रेड कलर डेवलप्स इन द मिल्क एंड इट डिटेक्ट्स द प्रेजेंस ऑफ किन शुगर अब हर एक टेस्ट की एक लिमिटेशन होती है एक पर्टिकुलर अमाउंट में ही अगर रिएजेंट हो तभी ये टेस्ट पॉजिटिव आता है अगर उससे कम हो देन दिस टेस्ट विल नॉट बी पॉजिटिव एंड इस टर्म को या फिर जो मिनिमम कंसेंट्रेशन है जितनी जिसकी मात्रा में हमारा टेस्ट पॉजिटिव आए किसी रिएजेंट के लिए उसको बोलते हैं लिमिटिंग डिटेक्शन रेंज और लिमिटिंग डिटेक्शन रेंज केन शुगर की हमारे टेस्ट के लिए है पॉइंट तो अगर पॉइंट जितना केन शुगर प्रेजेंट होगा तब तो ये टेस्ट आ जाएगा इससे कम हुआ तो नहीं आएगा इससे ज्यादा हुआ तो डेफिनेटली आएगा Now let us see how it happens. Let us begin the experiment. First of all, you need to know what all operators we are required. Since we are going to begin with the experiments based on milk products, we will need a fresh sample of milk. It should not be old, older than one or two days. And even if you are having an older version of milk, it should be kept preserved by using formalin, zero point four percent solution of formalin. I have taken two samples of milk. one of them is adulterated with sucrose and the other one is pure milk so let us see how can we determine the presence of sucrose in milk the reagents we require are resorcinol then uh, apparatus which would include these dropper tissue paper to clean the surfaces other than this we would also require a concentrated solution of hydrogen chloride or other such acid so let us begin our procedure first of all we will need to make our sample fit for reaction to take place for that matter we will incubate it at a little warm water we will use water bath if you are not having water bath you can use simply a beaker filled with water you can keep your test tubes into it and let it be warm for a few minutes it will set the right conditions for reaction to proceed and this step is known as sampling of milk or keeping the milk required in the required condition for reaction to take place so let us wait for it to get a little warm it has a temperature of around 100 degrees celsius we will keep it only for one or two minutes after that we will take it out you can see the sample is ready now after warming the milk Uh, for a few minutes we will now add resorcinol we have taken around 1 to 2 grams of resorcinol and each of them will be added into separate test tubes containing the milk this much is enough for one test tube similarly we will fit the another test tube with the same chemical resorcinol now let me tell you the basic reaction mechanism behind this test resorcinol is such a compound that it reacts with most of the monosaccharides or for that matter of fact uh, sugars in the presence of acidic condition which can be made by using a uh, concentrated form of hydrochloric acid or other such acid and after we are combining with this uh, reagents in the hot conditions if we give it a hot condition in or give it the thermal input it obtains a red color a deep red color so same is being done with these samples i have added a teaspoon or small uh, amount of resorcinol around 1 to 2 g of resorcinol in both of the test tubes now i will add this concentrated acid Used completely. I have completely used this dropper. Now after this, I will put both these test tubes again in the water bath. 
because as I already said, this reaction requires the input of thermal energy and only in the endothermic conditions the color would be obtained if at all the cane sugar or sucrose is present. So we'll have to wait for a couple of minutes and see whether our milk is adulterated or not. Now you can see that, that is this test tube, the, cap, the one which is capped at the front, it has started gaining a red color. Uh, initially it is gaining a light pink, uh, pinkish color and after some time you will observe a deep red color. And this indicates the presence of a sugar that in our case is cane sugar. So uh, you must be wondering that why do we need to add cane sugar? What happens that many a times uh, when a local milkman what they do if the milk sample is older. So just to prevent the indication of oldness or whether it, it has got old because of the presence of acid, they add sugar. The taste of sugar or the sweetness of sugar masks up the lactic acid taste or the sour taste in the milk and uh, this will fool us that the milk is fresh. So beware of such tricks, you should be knowing all these things even if you are not a food technologist because uh, as we already we are listening to slogan since our childhood, Jago Grahak Jago. So it is a part of this, that uh, slogan itself. So you should be very much confident about your milk. You can see it has started gaining red color and in a couple of seconds it would gain a deep red color. So this is the result of our experiment. You can clearly see on the left hand side or for you it's the right test tube. It has got a ring at the bottom. The ring is around uh, olive uh, around olive green to red, dark red in color and this indicates the presence of a sugar. And in this case it's probably, not probably, it's definitely sucrose because that is what benefits the milkman who wants to sell their old milk. And the sample which was not adulterated with cane sugar, it has kept its milky white color constant. Also, you must be wondering that why has it got a separate, uh, three separate layers. So you should know that acid actually coagulates the protein present in the milk, that is casein, not the whey proteins. So this is the whey portion in the middle intermediate portion, the lower portion is of acid. And on the top you can see the coagulated protein and fat. So this was all about our today's uh, experiment. I hope you learned many other things. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you have this video se kaafi kuch sikha hoga. Jaane se pehle don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel and definitely don't forget to press the bell icon taaki aapko pal pal hamari updates milti rahe jo bhi content hum apne website par ya fir youtube par dalte hain wo ab tak pahunchta rahe. In case agar aap chahte hain ki aapko aur bhi zyada detailed ya in depth knowledge mile food technology ki to aap hamari pyari website www.foodtechnetwork.in par ja sakte hain. Yahan par aapko practice sessions milenge, bahut sare quiz milenge jo ki aapke brain ko storming sessions denge. इसके अलावा आपको स्टार्टअप आइडियाज मिलेंगे ऑन्टरप्रिनोरशिप में अगर आप इंटरेस्टेड हैं तो उसकी भी डिटेल्स आपको मिलेगी सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू विजिट आवर वेबसाइट टू गेट अ वर्ल्ड फुल ऑफ फूड टेक्नोलॉजी थैंक यू मिलते हैं अगले वीडियो में